today we're gonna deal with this tank here that we got I'm standing on now um, I looked in here let's see if what we got it's uh you probably can't see much I'll get this in there here in a little bit I'm gonna drop this pump down in there I don't know what this tank is I think it's just a water tank from the looks of it um, Man, I don't know. I got to figure something out. There might be two tanks sitting here. Because um, the wall of this tank appears to be before uh, that other handle that I found, which I think was somewhere in here. I don't know. I might be all messed up on my locations, but hopefully this is the only tank. But I got, I got this little submersible pump here. Ran down to the Home Depot, bought this guy. So we're gonna pump that water out of there and see what it looks like in there. Um, I looked for, I did the search on, um, let's see, the you can go to the, the State Department's health site and search like uh, septic permits. And I searched that on any uh, parcel number that was ever related to this property. There was no permits on that. There are no permits on anything on this property that I could find. So I'm pretty sure it's not a septic tank, which is sweet. I think it's just kind of a holding tank. I think they probably needed water when they did that tunnel up there. Um, so this is hopefully just a water holding tank. We'll see. does look like it's an old septic tank um, all the debris in it is from me yesterday um, just knocking shit in here um, it appears that the line came from that direction almost where the burn pile is so it appears to be um, yeah a thousand gallon septic tank so uh, we're gonna see here, we're gonna pump it out. See what we got. It's a good thing we didn't uh, puncture it, man. So I think, I honestly think that when I was witching for the water, I hit this because I hit a spot right up here. And I think I hit this. Huh? Yup. So, let's drop a pump in it, see what happens. Got it all pumped out. It's really not too bad. I thought that over there was like, man, that's a lot of, of dookie. But that's all dirt. Cause I knocked the lid off and then played around right here. So that's all dirt. So that's cool. That's dookie. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm gonna pump some water into it. Clean it out a little bit. All right, so we have flushed this tank a few times, ran water in and out of it a few times, cleaned it out just a little. It seems good. I poked my head in there. I'll show you guys around in there too in a shot. Um, but 
it seems like everything's still intact. It's not deteriorating. It's not falling apart. Um, it might be leaking a little bit from the seam. It's a two part septic tank, a two piece septic tank. Um, so if we, we were thinking it could be a sweet little shelter for something. So if we ever want to use it for that, we'll probably have to seal the seam or something. But for now, we're just going to leave it. Cause like I said, it's intact. We'll probably stub up a piece of uh, culvert um, in the manhole, put a lid on that. And that way we got that stubbed up and we'll just bury that back up. Um, so what we got going on here is uh, I dug down, I rerouted our water line, came in through here and I've dug down next to our casing and I'm gonna put this uh, pitless in here. Um, so this, it's just a marrow pitless. You, uh, we're gonna drop this in and it's gonna come out the side like that. So the threads will be sticking out the side and we'll thread a big nut on there. So we'll show you guys how we do that here. Something I did just realize before I did it, which is cool, is make sure you know, whoa, where'd it go? Make sure you know the location of all your stuff that's internal there. So when you're drilling, you're not rubbing against your wires or your rope or your line. The line isn't a huge deal because we're gonna pull that up and cut that where our pitless is gonna attach to it. So if we nick the line, it's not a huge deal because we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna cut this whole chunk off anyway. But you don't wanna nick your wires. You don't wanna nick your rope. Now I'm just gonna tape up these joints beforehand. What I'm gonna do, I believe, I'm gonna put this nipple inside the well, and then I'm gonna put this check valve in there with it so it's not exposing the elements. One battery didn't make it. I gotta go charge another battery. <sighs> All right, this is a knockoff DeWalt battery that's fully charged. I'm gonna show everyone how much they suck. I'm almost all the way through this. So we'll see if it'll blow through. Stuff to the other side. I don't know if you can see it, but I did push all my stuff to the other side. So this is a little sketchy here. You have to lift that pipe up. Um, so your pitless lines up. You have to lift your pipe up and cut it, cut off the excess, or at least I did. And with one person, that thing is heavy. That it's got 200 feet of water, 220 feet of water on it. So it is freaking heavy. And it's kind of sketchy, but I'm going to get this done as quick as I can. You want to get this poly pipe pretty much as warm as you can without melting it. That way it slides, slides on just the way it did there. Um, if you try to do this cold, there's no way you would have just got that on like that. Not a chance. <laughs> I'm going to run and get some duct tape so we can tape this wire to this so it doesn't chafe.
you'll need to get yourself one of these pitless pullers. I think this one cost me like $45 for this guy to make me one. You can make it yourself, but I was just there and had him do it. So you'll see me using that to lower this thing down. You wanna make sure that you got your O-ring on on the inside of your well. And then I'll show you the gaskets on the outside. I put all this in and realized the camera wasn't recording and I filled it all back up, back up but it's pretty straightforward. You uh, just thread that pitless. You pop these threads through this hole or through your hole that you drilled in your casing. You just put your gasket, your flange, and your nut and tighten that up and it makes a good seal. And then I put my uh, king nipple in with tape and put some hose clamps on this. I just taped up the hose clamps. I don't know, maybe to see if it weatherproofs them a little better. But yep, not much to it, pretty straightforward. All I'm doing now is just kind of bedding this thing down. I did go through with a shovel and clean it up so the flow is fairly smooth and pick out a few of the big rocks um, that this thing be sitting on. So what I'm doing now is going through and covering it by hand so we don't uh, have a big rock come down and you know try to put a hole. See, it's a little thin right there. I'll come and put a little more there. Um, we don't want a rock to come tumbling into this thing while well, I'm pushing dirt back in and crush this thing or put a hole in it. It probably wouldn't crush it. This stuff's actually pretty strong. It's a pain in the ass to roll out, but uh, could probably would just put some sort of hole in it, scrape hole or something. So just clean it up a little bit, bury it by hand. It doesn't take too long. That might be the first time doing something where I've ever actually had steel or composite toes. These are composite toes, like safety toe boots come in handy. I had so many rocks that were falling. It's like, oh, that's gonna hurt. And then I remembered I have safety toe. I mean, imagine this thing landing on your foot when it comes tumbling down from there. It'd hurt. And do that by another eight, 12 times. So that was cool. This is as far as I can go for now. We're waiting on her little jackhammer, electric jackhammer. Hopefully this thing is worth a shit. And we're gonna hammer out this whole trench and dig it out by hand and it'll be fun.